ઉઠે ફળ ખામ છોહી ખામ છોરી એનર્જી વિલ ગો અવે ઓલ ધ ઇવલ વટ એવર ઇ ઇઝ ઇવલ 
which is basically to harm, evil is harming, harming yourself or harming fellow creatures. That will go away. So inshallah we can continue with that. Zik. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created wisdom in everything. One one day my my grandfather, our, our, our grand teacher, our grand sheikh, Sheikh Nazim, took a person into the gardens. Our teacher has gardens in Cyprus and sometimes he would go inside and take a walk. And that person that was walking with our teacher uh, was being asked by our teacher. He was telling them, what is this tree? And that person said, I don't know. He said, okay, what is that tree? And that person said, I don't know. That's why it's suhbah, association with the shaykh, to accompany somebody is beneficial. So he said, what is this tree? What is that tree? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He said, what do you know? So she left and came back another time, walking with the shaykh. And he said, what is this tree? She goes, this is a thick tree. <laughs> She learned in the main one. <laughs> he said, what is this tree? She said, it's a walnut tree. Oh, what is this tree? A banana tree, an orange tree, an apple tree. He said, mashallah, you learned all of them, huh? She said, yes, I learned. But look now, there's a wisdom. Look at the trees. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَيُسْقَى بِمَا إِنْ وَاحِدٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the one water, one kind of water for all the trees. He waters them with one kind. Bima'il wahid, one water. But we prefer some on others when we eat. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the same water, with one water, is growing different things. And they all start with what? With a seed. So each one of us has a seed in his heart or her heart. And when the water comes, when that water comes, which is the knowledge and love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger, and the knowledge through Quran, when that water, when the divine knowledge starts to enter the heart, the heart starts to, that seed in the heart starts to grow. And when it grows, it becomes a tree. And each one of us, if you look, is a different tree. But all with the love of Quran, the love of the holy books, the love of the messengers, and the love of God. We all share that. But each one of us is different. So he was telling that murida of his. He was telling his student that look what I'm telling you this is you're telling me this is a fig tree this is a walnut tree this is I don't know what tree but if you notice that they are all watered with one water the knowledge the divine knowledge the knowledge of God but each one of us is a different tree <coughs> now let's pay more attention this is what the shakes taught us does that Okay, the, the seed is hidden, right? The seed of the tree is hidden where? In the soil. Now when the tree comes up, the seed is hidden where? In the trunk. The seed of the tree is hidden now in the trunk. When the branches come out, the seed is hidden in the branches. When the fruit comes out, the seed is hidden in the fruit. Right? It's still hidden, it's not open. Now when the fruit is ripe, then you know the taste of the fruit. Is it bitter or is it sweet? A human being is the same. A human being has a seed in his heart or her heart. And the shaykh is the one that plows the, the land. And the shaykh is the one that waters your land. The shaykh gives you the love of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
The sheikh plows your land, which is your body, makes it with good manners and good characteristics. And that, that love, that tree starts to grow from your soil, from your land, but still the fruit of that tree is unknown. When, the, when you reach, some trees don't reach to have branches or have fruits. I mean, some of them are chopped off or there's, they die or avalanche comes or something comes and plucks them off and throws them away. But if you have that fruit ripen, then that fruit, when it's ripe, is your amal. It's your deed. What you do on earth? Each human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a seed in his heart. And each human being's deed is an indication of what that person is about. A mu'min that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put iman in his heart, his fruit will be sweet. The shaykh's fruit is sweet. But, and his amal is sweet. His deed is good. So when you see a human being doing a bad amal, a bad deed, know that this fruit is bitter. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمِنْهُمْ شَقِيٌّ وَسَعِيدٌ Some of them are, will be sa'id, will be happy, and some of them will be shaqeed, wretched, wicked. That's why you look around, human beings are wicked, and they're good. And of course the ones in the middle which are still struggling, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah makes us with the sa'id. We are in the middle. Alhamdulillah, we are not bad, but we cannot claim we are good. We are in the middle. So that seed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in the heart, watered with the shaykh's love and knowledge of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bears its fruit. So if your amal is good, be happy that you have a good seed in your heart. If your deed is bad, know that you are at that juncture, try to correct your deed so you can have a good fruit. So my Mawlana Shaykh, our teacher, was telling that Murid, uh, pay attention to the trees, because when we are sitting all together, you can have a fellow sister that is not good. You can have a fellow brother that is not good, because trees are different. So for you to be good and your patience to come about, you have to bear with your fellow brother. Or else how can you be patient? How can I say what a patient person? What a tolerant person. If you don't show patience. So for your patience to come about, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends you somebody that will poke you. <laughs> Prod you. That's a better word. <laughs> somebody that will tease you, will make you angry. But it's not his fault. Look at you what you are going to do. Look at you what you're going to do. There is a saying, uh, let me just remember the verse. وَلَا تَرَى الْعَيْدَ إِلَّا فِيكَ عَيْدًا بَدَى بَيِّنًا وَلَكِنْ إِسْتَتَرَى Every fault see it in you. وَلَا تَرَى الْعَيْدَ إِلَّا فِيكَ don't see the fault except in you, in me. And know that that fault in you, by Allah's grace, had been concealed. Everyone gets angry. So when you see an angry man, don't say, oh, what a bad person he is. No. See that anger that is in you, but with Allah's grace and Allah's favor on you, it has been concealed. Somebody lies. Say, oh, what a liar. No, I'm not a liar. No, you are a liar too, but Allah's grace on you has made that lying characteristic be concealed. That is satar. Satar. To cover. This is a, this is a Sufi saint's teaching. <laughs> Don't ever see any fault of a human being except it is in you. So when we see somebody hurting somebody, Know that you can do the same thing, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has graced you. And that harm that can come from you has been concealed. And you ask them for the same for your brother. Oh my Lord, as you concealed my anger and made me not harm anybody, 
please also do the same to him or the same to her. So she can be or he can be in the same situation I am in. So don't see the fault of other people. So Mawlana is a teacher and teaching that everybody is a different tree and everybody bears a different fruit. But if you are a mu'min, your fruit will be sweet. If you are not a mu'min yet, and inshallah all of us become mu'min, true mu'min, your fruit is still bitter, still has ways to go, still has to ripen. It's a clear, visible, bad characteristic in us, but it has been concealed. SubhanAllah, the, the, the words of the saints, they, have, they carry so much meaning. And if it weren't for our teachers teaching us these meanings, we don't know. We don't realize. Inshallah, we, we stop here. And uh, we can say a little bit more later on, inshallah. I don't want to bore you too much. Not the time. Inshallah. Inshallah, we continue to not see faults except in us. And if we are graced with not having these faults, we thank, we thank our Lord and we ask for our brothers and sisters also. And don't forget, blend into the wave of nature. Next time you're in Michigan, in Ramadan, don't say anything, listen to the voices. And you'll go somewhere else. <laughs> and pray for us that we go with you too, <laughs> if you end up somewhere. <laughs> Actually, there is uh, a clip I saw. Somebody sent it. Maybe most of you saw it. It's the voice of the cricket on YouTube. But it slowed down, I don't know how many thousand times, million times. Have you ever listened to that? The sound, the, the, the sounds of the cricket. The one that you always say, what is this, too loud, you know, it's too annoying. But they have slowed it down to, I don't know, one of the million seconds, something like, I don't know how they did. But it's like a choir. It's like, it's like an orchestra. Very melodious, very melodious, melodious. It's like so beautiful. Just go on YouTube and put cricket sound slowed down. You might have two or three, but there's one. It's like four or five minutes. It's like all of them are singing in, up, down, up like a symphony. It's so calming and cool. So try to listen to them, and you can understand the the voices of nature when they are making the speech. And the saints, they hear all that. We still, I don't know if we can ever hear. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. 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 In